the purpose of vlookup is to look up information in a table vlookup is for vertical data vlookup searches for a value in the first column of a table or range and returns a value in the same row from a column that you specify in the table here is the syntax lookup value is the value you want to look up this can be a value number date or text cell reference or the value returned by some other function table array is the range where lookup value is located remember that the lookup value should always be in the first column of the range for vlookup to work correctly the vlookup function always searches in the leftmost column of the table array and returns a value from a column to the right column index number is the column number containing the return value the counting starts from the leftmost column in the table array which is 1 vlookup has two modes of matching exact and approximate controlled by the fourth argument range lookup when range lookup is true vlookup will match a range of values rather than an exact value when range lookup is false vlookup will perform an exact match with the employee id in column a as the lookup value vlookup can get the name job title email etc for any employee for example to get the name for employee id 90009 the formula is to get the value from a given column pass the number as column index number for example the column index to retrieve the name is 2 vlookup will search down the first column of the lookup range until it finds the lookup value once the lookup value is found vlookup will return the value in the row from the column identified by the column index number argument in this case vlookup will return the employee's name from the second column for job title change column index number to 3 for email change column index number to 4 you can use a cell reference in lookup value rather than a hard coded value enter the value in g10 change the hard coded lookup value to the cell reference g10 in the formulas change the employee id to return information for a different employee change 90009 to 90015 information for that employee will be returned all the vlookup functions in this example have false as the final argument A false in the match argument tells vlookup to return a value only if it finds an exact match. If it doesn't find an exact match, vlookup returns NA. Change employee ID to 9. All the formulas return NA as there is no 9 in employee ID column. When using vlookup in formulas, the main rule of thumb is to lock table array with absolute cell reference to prevent it from changing when copying a formula to other cells. For example, enter the employee IDs of senior directors in column H. Use this formula to find the names. Use absolute value for table array. In most cases, the lookup value should be a relative reference like H2. or you can lock only the column coordinate dollar h2 drag the formula down watch how the lookup value reference is adjusted for that specific row while the table array is unchanged in case you plan to use the same lookup range in many formulas you can create a named range for it and type the name directly in the table array argument to create a named range select the cells and type the name you want in the name box to the left of the formula bar for example type table emp now in this formula instead of the range pass the name of the range you just created you get the same results 
VLOOKUP can be used as part of other formulas. To calculate tax, use this formula. Get the salary from 4th column and multiply by the tax rate from 5th column. Since you used absolute reference for lookup table, copy the formula down to calculate tax for other employees. If you want the best match, but not necessarily an exact match, set the last argument to true. For example, let us look up a commission percent in the lookup table F2 colon G10. We need to use VLOOKUP in approximate match mode because in most cases an exact match will never be found. Set the last argument to true. If an exact match is found, VLOOKUP will return it. For example, for 50k, 1% is returned. If not, VLOOKUP will match the previous row. This means table array must be sorted in ascending order by lookup value to use approximate match. For example, for 120k, the commission for 100k is returned. In the case of duplicate matching values, VLOOKUP will return the first match. There are three rows with the size XL and VLOOKUP returns the price in the first row. $25. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.